Okay, today we're going to continue working on our uh, uh, self-made uh, web browser using GTK, WebKit, and Python. Um, and uh, if you watched the first two videos, you know um, in the last one we had issue getting the address bar to display the proper link of what we're viewing. That's one of the things we're going to go over today. Thank you to a viewer. His name is um, Smart Viking is his username. And he's the one that showed me the little way to do this. Um, in the link to this video, I'll have the code that we're working on here as well as the code he sent me. So you can check out both of those. And uh, well, let's just get started. Uh, let's first off, let's just run our script. I have it here called my browser. I already have it executable, so there we go. We open it up, it opens up real small. Okay, so uh, we don't want to open up that small every time. We want to open it up to a decent size. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our code here, go down to where the window is created, and I'm just going to say right after it's created, win.setDefault size, and we're going to give it a resolution, I'll just say 800 by 600. Then we'll run our script, and as you can see, boom, it starts off a little bit bigger. Okay, next thing we're going to do is you notice it loads to a blank page. Let's have a default home page load up. You know, if you're creating a real browser people are going to use, um, you create a config file. Um, we're not going to do that. We're just going to put it right here directly into the code. We're going to say right after the web object is created, web dot open and the link we want to open it to. It's a string, so we're going to put it inside parentheses or inside quotations within our parentheses. We're going to say http colon forward slash forward slash films by Chris dot com. Save that, run it, and as you can see, it loads up my web page. The pa the window is still resizable, even though we said default size. That's just the size it opens up to. Now you'll notice that. And when we start it up here, we're still having our little address bar problem here. It says Google Ads because even though I don't have Google Ads on my page anymore because I was banned from their uh, uh, AdSense, I never removed all the code and I need to do that. So basically the way we have it set up now, it's looking at all URL requests and whatever the last one request is one showing up in our address bar. And that's not what we want. We want the page that we're at, not requests that this page is making. So that's where Smart Vikings uh, help came in. I'm going to go in here and we're going to look at right here on click link. That's our function. We're sending three variables. Well, we're going to actually request something different. We don't need that request variable anymore because we're actually going to be looking at what the frame um, URL is or URI. And before we're doing request URI, uh, get URI, now we're going to change it to frame.getURI. Let's save that and see what happens. I can tell you right now, it's not going to work like we want it to. First off, we start that off, and we get nothing in the address bar. Okay, let's go to google.com, do a search for Linux, and we're going to click Ubuntu Linux. And you can see it's still not changing. That's because right here we're getting an error for the number of arguments because we removed that request. Well, that's because we're going to change how it's connected. Because right now we have it set so that when you press the go button or hit at enter in our address bar, um, or basically any time the web page is updated, we have it set right here on click link. And it, it's set to connect navigation request. Well, that's fine and dandy, but that's not really what we want. What we want is when our WebKit has a load-committed. So when a page is committed to loading, simple enough, right? Then it's going to run our function. And at this point, since we're not using the navigation request, we're using load committed, there's only two variables that it needs in the function, which are the view, which is our WebKit, and the frame. So we're going to, whenever there is a page committed to loading to that frame, we are now going to check that frame and get the URI, and then we're going to change our address bar and set the text to whatever that URI is. Let's save this. Let's run it. 
right away you can see now that the page has loaded because it's committed to that load. Um, it changes the address bar so we don't have a blank address bar in the startup as we did before. Now, once again, I'll just go to google.com and hit enter and we'll say Linux once again. And as you can see, when we click on Ubuntu Linux here, it changes to ubuntu.com. If I click on download, it changes it so we're in our download link. Support, should change it to the support link. Let's do another one. We'll say google.com and we'll search for Debian and we'll go to here and you can see it changes to debian.org we'll click on about and you can see it goes to about uh, intro forward slash about so we are getting our updates um, and that's it for this tutorial as I said in the description to this video I'll have links to this code we're working on as well as the code that um, smart uh, Viking had sent me and I thank you for viewers who do uh, help out and submit code like that uh, I have other people who submit code and I just I have a lot going through but I'm glad that he sent me this one especially since this is uh, something that we were struggling with not just me but other viewers so uh, thank you once again for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Currently, I have a Facebook fan page, but um, I'm not going to be using Facebook too much anymore. I'm using Google Chrome or Google Chrome, Google Plus. So uh, maybe I'll set up a Films by Chris uh, page over there. They don't really have I, that I've seen anything that you can create like fan pages yet. I don't know if I need to create a whole other account. We'll see. We'll work on something like that. I'll still be updating the Facebook fan page, but uh, also look out uh, for when I do start doing uh, Google Plus stuff. Um, thanks for watching, and once again, I hope that you have a great day.